Hello YouTubers, this is Eddie Coleman, Gilmer, Texas, Buckeye Country. Uh, uh, I'm here tonight with Randy Burns, he's doing the filming for us and appreciate him doing that. And uh, we, we thought we would give you a uh, breakdown on a Dillon trimmer motor and how you change uh, how you change the die out. Uh, right now we're, we've been trimming 223's and we want to trim some 270's. So, uh, we're going to give you a, a, a show you how to break this down, change the die, and then we're going to trim a few uh, 270 cases. So appreciate right you uh, uh, taking the time to come and visit with us. We know you have a choice, and we appreciate you uh, taking the time to come and, and uh, choosing us to, to see this segment on uh, how to change out a Dillon trimmer motor from a 223 to a 270. First thing that I'd like to say is safety is important. So what we want to do is be sure to unplug the uh, electricity from it. So you pull this off and uh, just set it set it aside. And now it's it's uh it's not activated or it can't be activated. And then down right under the right under the drill motor frame, there is a nut, just like the nuts that hold the dies in your in your press and so you loosen that off and when you loosen that off this will uh, the motor will unscrew from the die so we're just uh, rotating counterclockwise and a few turns and then the uh, the motor comes off with the uh, with the with the cutter on it so we just lay that down to the side and now this is the this is the 223 die and so we need this nut for the 270 die and this nut will screw on this 270 die here at the top just like that and then we'll go ahead and take this 223 die out of the uh, press That's the 223 die, and then we'll put the 270 die in. This is a uh, this is a Hornady quick change uh, system, and you set it up just like you do any other any other uh, die full length die okay, this now gotta see if okay so this has got to go down some more go down to it kisses the top okay kiss the top and then we'll lock her down like that and then uh, this is ready to to uh, screw the motor back on okay now we gotta we gotta get our die uh, we got to get a shell holder and uh, and then put a shell in here and then we can adjust it. Okay, we're, uh, we, uh, we've uh, put our uh, number two uh, uh, shell plate on. We've got a 270 uh, shell in. We're going to bring it up and come right here. And then you rotate this. You can see it going round and round. And when it hits, it hit right there. Okay, and then... But well, we got to make an adjustment though. We got to come down uh, about five thousandths. But we'll do that here in just a second. So what I have to do is hook it back up to electricity, and this has to be done uh, while it's running, or you'll break your tool. Uh, you'll break your tool. You don't want to break that.
Okay, that's that's uh, hooked up. Now then, we're gonna turn it on. And then bring it. Okay, it's touching. Now we're gonna stop. And we'll bring it. We'll bring it out. Now we're gonna check it. You can see. You can see where it's uh, already uh, faced trimmed. Can you see that, Randy? See where it is trimmed. Now we're gonna we're gonna check it with our mics and see what our length is. Now I gotta find my here it is. And the book says the uh, length has to be uh, two inches five thirty to five forty. And right now we're at five thirty five. So I've got to go down five thousandths. So we're gonna ease it down to and take off five thousandths more. So here we go. With it running and everything's locked in place, you have to loosen this screw. And then you'll hear it, you'll hear it cut. We'll stop right there. It has come loose, so I'll cut it back up. Now we're 531, getting really, really close. Okay, that's what we want. All right, now then, I'm gonna lock everything down. Check that one more time. Five twenty seven, that's a little bit a little bit uh, low. Wouldn't hurt nothing, but we're gonna get it right. Still haven't got it through yet. Five thirty one. That's going to be close enough. Five thirty one is close enough. Five thirty to five forty is five thirty one. So that's okay. So now I'm going to just tighten that, make sure it's nice and tight. Good and tight. Now, here we go. Five thirty one. This in here is uh, 544, put it in, check it, 531. This one here is 543, five thirty one. This one is 534. Five thirty. Five thirty two. See if we can get a little bit more out of it. Five thirty one. Five 
531. You can see this is considerably easier than using the manual 2 inches 530 right on the money. If you had a whole lot to do, 2 or 300, you could do these in 10 or 15 minutes with this machine just as fast as you could go if you were in a big hurry. I think you can hear the machine kind of load up when it's cutting 531. Five thirty two, five thirty one. Is that the last one, Randy? One more. Five thirty one. Five thirty one. So we turn that down. Off. And I said down. I've got to turn it off. Okay, we just got through trimming 20, and these are the 20. And uh, let me say this: uh, when when you do these 20, uh, you will get you will get fines. Uh, you'll get these things right here. These little squirrely. Uh, uh, you get these little uh, brass uh, fines that come off of the tip and uh, it's important that when you uh, if you're using a Dillon uh, trimmer like we are when you get through with these like they are now we need to blow each one of these out and get all those uh, little squirties out of there because that would definitely affect the performance of your gun so be sure uh, to uh, to clean out your your case uh, when when you're doing with the trimmer uh, with the uh, Dillon trimmer. Now, a recommendation: if uh, if you're uh, involved in a lot of two seventies, if you're doing a lot of two seventies, I would recommend that you find you a Dillon trimmer. Uh, but if you're only doing a few, then uh, just do them with a Lee trimmer or the manual lineman trimmer and you'll be just fine. But it, you know, if you catch yourself doing hundreds, then I would recommend that you spend two or three hundred dollars and uh, and buy a a Dillon motor and it will fit on any, it will fit on any press that you want to put it on. It don't have to be a, a Hornady, it, it, it'll fit on any single stage press mm -hmm. and, uh, and it'll do you a good job. And uh, uh, so uh, uh, we're uh, this is uh, this is part one of the 270s, and uh, we're gonna uh, we'll, we'll we'll be coming back for part two, and we're gonna show you how to deburr and chamfer, and uh, and then we'll be putting the uh, primers in for you. We're gonna have a two or three part series on 270s. We appreciate you watching, and this is Eddie Coleman, Randy Burns, Gilmer, Texas. Said so long, and we certainly do appreciate you watching us. Bye bye.